2018, whole new uh, year of racing. Got myself my amazing smoothie, bananas, pineapples, beets, spinach, spirulina, um, orange juice. Good stuff. The last 12 days, not been great. I got super duper sick uh, just after Christmas. And uh, that was that, man. I, I was bedridden for a couple days and it was no good. This is what it is. We're gonna go mentor some kids, some juniors and some beginners, because that's always awesome to have a little orange vest and have people think that you know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll tell other people the things that I don't know how to do. Uh, and hopefully at the end of the mentoring, there'll be enough guys that do a little practice one, two, three race. Um, I wanna see, wanna evaluate where my fitness is after this illness and just see how bad it is. So, onesie? Rock on the onesie? Oh yeah, and I cut my hair. So cycling is an amazing sport and I love it. It's uh, given me quite um, an amazing life, just as fulfillment, and goals, and a hobby, and that sort of thing, fitness. And so today, uh, there is an early bird training crit, which basically means that if you've never raced before, or if you're just starting, you can come and do this like clinic, a beginner's clinic, and uh, over a four week period, they kind of go through different um, curriculums on, uh, on how to race. And that's such an amazing opportunity for me to try to give back to, to the sport, give back to the community. And also, I wanna try to do a little more junior specific racing type stuff, like get a camera on some of the juniors, get their thoughts. Because the YouTube channel, like I have got, a, you know, a lot of you are juniors, young. And I want to help possibly encourage a 15, 16 year old young buck to, uh, to get into it. Yeah. What's up, brother? How's it hey, going? Hey, congratulations on the... Oh, thank you. you. bring them all? No, 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 no. It's too... That little one is, uh... <laughs> she's little. She's a freshie, so it's hard to, uh... We just got a puppy. So the mentoring is done, a lot of fun. It's honestly a good time just to kind of get an idea or like reset my mindset for racing. To be able to teach someone how to do something, you really need to know it yourself, right? And so sometimes just kind of rehashing over some of the basics in your own mind is good. But uh, I'm gonna go chase these juniors around. Molly, those juniors are fast. <laughs> they're so they're so punchy. They're so punchy. That was so cool though to ride in with those guys and uh, see them just do awesome teamwork. 
it's crazy to see 16, 17 year old kids, maybe even less, 15 to 17, just uh, working so well together, talking to each other, like whispering to each other. It was really cool. So now there is the Cat 5. So these are the adults that just did the mentor session. So I'm at like 21 miles right now of uh, mentoring. To do this one and then the one, two, three race. Which is gonna be hard because there's a lot of Fulton guys. and juniors and did the juniors and like two cat fives just went to the front just drilled it they were smashing man um and then it just kind of splintered from there and it just the group got smaller and smaller and smaller and then um the juniors were just running it and then one of the juniors and and this other cat five guy from like the revis team uh they broke off because last time i did this i started off easy and then I lost them because I don't have the fitness, right? But I thought maybe if I got out there, I could feel a little bit more fit. I could then when somebody burned me, I'll get on them and I can maintain. My freaking legs turned to stone, man, just stone, and I couldn't. I always could. Oh man, I always couldn't pedal. It's like crazy. Yeah, well, I mean, you went pretty hard right off the bat, man. Yeah. Okay, it's also an opportunity to talk. This is a conversation about safety aspects of the training crits that we've just completed. Does anybody have any observations, anything that they want to talk about? What, so why is it important to try to stay in the drops as much as you can? You don't hook bars. It's a really good way to protect your handlebars. What else does it do? But a lot of times what you'll see is people want to let tactics play out at the front of the group and they want to like look around and move around a lot and that causes a lot of crazy dynamics to happen immediately right behind them which can be very dangerous. Wow. Right. Tell me about that last uh, Cat 5 race. Uh, it was a, it was actually faster than I thought it'd be. Usually, like I remember last year, Cat Five, we were, we were going like 23, 24, but this was like, like I don't know the guy on the revs. He was smashing like 26 for a long ass time. So, uh, and, then, and then you guys made a two man group. Yeah, that wasn't the plan. The plan was to uh, uh, leave my dad out, but I just wanted to see, like, because we had not only the guy that ended up winning, but we had one more other guy, and then my my two teammates. I just did an attack just to test the group, but it ended up just splitting the group apart, and that guy ended up going with me, and then we just smashed together basically to the to the very end, and then he basically on the very final uh, the second uh, final turn. Uh, he just got like half a bike length and then he like put in like a 30 mile an hour attack and that just kind of like broke me. And oh, so man. he rode it in, but yeah, it was still a really good race. Yeah, he was super strong. I mean, hats off to that guy because he was like on the front for like most of the race. Dude, he was. Um, there's a good amount of dudes out here for the race right now. I gotta go, I'm, it's, I'm late, I gotta go.
Tyler. Thank you. And then, that, uh, was yeah, they both go that was fun. Yeah, you. They both go. Okay. Let me uh, there. All right, man. All right. Okay. Tell me. That was hard. That was Richard, good. Really not that was five? really hard. I, no. So, how much were you playing cat and mouse? Because I. Towards the end, you were you skipped a couple pulls. Yeah, I was thinking, man, he's just playing games. No, 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 I was just dead. Uh, I was, I was trying to not kill myself to give myself a little bit of a, uh, have a little bit of, you know, a little something in tank at the end. But, uh, uh, but you guys are just simply stronger than me. <laughs> so I was just trying to stay with you guys. And then, and then also I figured if I just let you guys pull and just hung on the back, then you wouldn't really work, and we get caught. So I figured, you know, even if it, you know, whatever, two guys in the top three is awesome, so I just figured I'd work it. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, towards the end, I, I skipped a pull so that I'd have a little something to lead Root out. Uh, that was the whole point. The only way, I figured Root's, Root's so strong, he's, uh, he's, got, he's got a good sprint. I figured the only way is if Tyler attacks right now, gets a, 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 a break, right, and then, and then you're gone, right? And then, uh, and then he did it. And I was like, no, what are you doing, you know? Like, uh, so, but yeah, he's just so strong. What happened with you? You bridged? I bridged. You pulled? Yeah, and then I died. You went home. <laughs> and I fell out. back. He pulled out. <laughs> I would have preferred a fourth from the, uh, from the break, but I'll take it from the field sprint. Did you have to go, were you just blown up to make the bridge to the break? You know, it's funny, I felt good on the bridge. And then once I kind of tried to settle in pace with you guys, it was just too hot for me on kind of the threshold wise. I just I burned up quick. Your teammate, Mark, is like he's an animal. the strongest man on the planet. Oh, dude. Dude, we can't wait to get him racing with us. Yeah, fast, way fast. I mean, the guy was, was probably doing 80% of the work. Yeah. And then he dropped himself out of the, yeah, the group. He, yeah, he could have finished, uh, but he wanted to take it, take it easy. <laughs> Dude, let's, still, let someone else have a chance. Hero. Yeah. Still trying, you gotta learn. <laughs> I told him that the one, two, three race wouldn't be as easy, and he kind of laughed at me. <laughs> so I guess it was. <laughs>
chili cheese fries <gasps> and cauliflower steak. It's delicious. Baby, cauliflower steak. Baby just had a, uh, a strawberry. She mashed that strawberry into... Yeah? You liked it? You liked the strawberry? Uh, for the most part, I think an awesome, awesome day getting back into racing. And the mentoring of the juniors, man, I'm so excited to see these juniors come up through the ranks. They're gonna be like the next pros. One day you'll be out there, dude, and I'll be mentoring you, but you won't listen to me, because you, hey. you, you challenge everything I say. And from the Pierce family to yours, we wish you a wonderful 2018. Smash those pedals, eat some plants, ride some bikes, and as always, vegan cyclist. Yeah! yeah.